Your News Now Sports. Given the high expectations that surround the Finley men's basketball program on an annual basis, it was shocking to see the Oilers sitting just 500 one month into the season. Since then, UF has made their charge back toward the top of the conference, and while there's still a hill to climb, the fifth place Oilers control their own destiny in the quest for a GMAT crown. Our Tony Quatch has more from the Camp Arena. <laughs> like a lot of teams we've had to adjust as time's gone on but I think our guys have done a good job of that uh, we've got some really good wins on our resume I think the thing we're working towards is consistency despite starting off five and five the Oilers have picked it up at the right time winning nine of their last ten games we've been able to pick up in practice especially in late games too. Um, the improvements towards the second half that's been that's gone a long way so I think just sticking together as a team and improving every day has helped us a lot. Aside from ranking fifth in scoring in the conference, the Oilers have four players who are also averaging in double figures. I think anytime you can have multiple players score at any point, it makes it tough on the other team. They not only have to prepare before the game, but then during the game, any one person can get hot, and that makes it tough. One of the key players for the Oilers is Nathan Bruns, who ranks in the GMAX top 10 in scoring and top five in rebounding. For head coach Charlie Ernst, Having someone like Bruns in his lineup creates opportunities for his players to capitalize on the offensive end. He sees a lot of teams deploy different types of defenses against him, you know, and, and he's getting better at identifying those early, and our players are getting better at, at playing off of that. You know, sometimes, you know, I do get double teams, so, you know, passing it out to other people, you know, and I, I got faith in everybody on the team that they're gonna, they can hit shots, so when they need to score, you know, they're going to they're gonna do it. The Oilers are currently a game and a half out of first place in the GMAC. But all of that can change pretty soon. Four of their next five games will be played against the Walsh Cavaliers and the Malone Pioneers, and those two teams are tied for first in the league. In conference play, as I tell them, every inch of the floor is challenged. You know, these, these could very easily be one possession games. Really, it's going to be day by day for us, getting one job done at a time. Um, and if we can do that, I think we can win these games. It's going to be hard work, but... As long as we take it step by step, um, we can set ourselves up for an opportunity to win. In Finley, Tony Quatch, your News Now Sports.